PlayStation has just released their most powerful gaming console ever, the PS5 Pro. It's the most expensive gaming console in the world, but it's already one of the best sellers. So I spent $700 to see what all the hype was actually about. Okay, so inside of the box, you get the controller, some cables, and here is the PS5 Pro. So supposedly the PS5 Pro has 67% more computing cores, 28% faster RAM, and it's supposedly supposed to be 45% overall faster in processing. All right, so in front of me, I have the normal PS4, the normal PS5, and here is the brand new PS5 Pro. And compared to the actual PS5, it honestly is like the exact same. Like I can't even tell a height difference. In terms of width though, this one does look a little bit more beefy. This thing is just massive and that probably has to do a lot because this one has a disc and the actual PS5 Pro does not have a disc on it, but you do get two terabytes of storage. So you probably have enough. All right, before I start taking this PS5 apart, let me check the other things it came with. Don't know if the controller is different at all. Honestly, for me, I don't even notice like any difference. Let me even search up if there is a difference. All right, so from what I saw, it honestly looks the exact same. Well, I've never taken a PlayStation apart, so hopefully I don't break one of the panels doing this. I think you like literally just pull up and like there's clips. Yep, just like that. So that is definitely the fan. I don't know if any of the cooling actually changed on it. So I've read that the PS5 Pro actually has remixed cooling compared to the standard PS5, but since it's actually pushing out more power, it basically isn't more hot, but it is a little bit louder compared to the standard PS5. Okay, let me just pull out the rest of these panels. Okay, so this is the entire right side of it. There's really nothing over here. I'm pretty sure there should be an M.2 slot somewhere. Okay, so here is where you're actually able to change the M.2, which I probably will do in the future, but we got two terabytes in this puppy. We, we shouldn't be running out of storage anytime soon. Okay, and then on this side, it's pretty much the same. I actually don't know what this plug is at all. Someone in the comments, tell me what this tiny plug is here on the side. I legit have no idea. Here's the new PS5 Pro and all black edition, boys. Honestly, it probably would get better cooling this way, unless I'm actually dumb. It's just more open. So I guess if you wanted, it looky looks kind of weird, but I look, you kind of like it. All right. Hopefully I can put this back on. All right. Finally, after like five minutes, I have the PS5 back together. After downloading a couple games, I decided to hop into Fortnite first. All right. So we have the PS5 set up and we're going to be testing out some Fortnite. Okay. So right now I'm on controller, but I absolutely suck on controller. Like I legit can't play on controller. Now let me connect my keyboard and mouse and let's see how it actually feels. So already Ready? off the bat, there's definitely still input delay. It honestly feels like really bad now that I just hopped on, but after I play on it for like five minutes, I'll actually get used to it. Dude, it feels the exact same as the normal PS5. It's just super consistently on 120, which I think the PS5 does pretty well. Not really enough to justify $200 though. Eventually, I felt kind of comfortable on the PS5 and hopped into a Fortnite game. It is not able to hold 120 consistently. We just dropped to 68, 90. You're, you are paying an extra $200 and it's like barely that much better. I think if you gave someone a blindfold and like they didn't know which console they were using, they, they wouldn't be able to tell which one's which, to be honest. Where are you camping? Oh, here he is. Wait, this guy doesn't look bad. He's actually a real player. Oh, full boxed? Full boxed? Twice? Come here. What? Come on, he's 1 HP. Oh my gosh, bro. This is a Fortnite reload, but the FPS did just drop to 107 like I just saw right there. Oh, he's running. Come here, bro. 1 HP? Dead? It low-key looks hard to see on console. This isn't just a PlayStation thing. The colors are so dark with the shadows. It's genuinely hard for me as a PC player to, like, get used to it. Ready for the aimbot? Ready? 25. 1. Come on. No. Oh, he's landing right there. What is this kid doing, bro? Why is he still landing here? Wait, there's a kid right here. What the? Oh, that was him. I need some real players, bro. Don't get just give me bots. 1 HP? Dead? You too, buddy. Come on. Yo, what? I can't parkour up there? You're dead through the window? <laughs> dude, I'm just destroying these bots, bro. Oh my, dude, I'm actually gonna have like 30 kills by the end of this. The CPU or like processing speed is supposed to be faster and the RAM was like 28% faster. But honestly, playing Fortnite at least, if Fortnite's your only game, you don't notice that. Also, I didn't mention this point in the entire video, but if you decided to build a PC or you actually bought a pre-built, you could easily have like an RTX 2060 inside your, your PC, which is better. Like if you have like a Ryzen and some like a Ry an RTX 2060, with 16 gigs of RAM, you're getting way more than 120 FPS. Relax, buddy. Oh yeah, absolute NPC. 1 HP? Bro, my audio is so delayed. I don't know what I'm hearing, dude. It's like two minutes behind. Bro, this kid doesn't stop SMG spamming me, bro. Sit, buddy. 
Oh my, I'm actually destroying this lobby. We could have 30 kills. Reboots are disabled and I didn't even die once, bro. Maybe it is the PlayStation Pro just making me insane at Fortnite. It might be. Full boxing everyone here. Oh, buddy. What are you doing? Buddy. Buddy. Mm-mm. What are we doing here? At the end of the game, now the FPS is like really consistently 120, but most of the game, it's kind of just around 100 to 120. For $700, if I had this PC and it was only getting 100 to 120 FPS, I would call it a bad PC. Way overpriced, extra $200. It's $700, that's crazy. Oh, and he died to zone. I mean, it might've been just an AFK player, I don't know. I also decided to give Call of Duty Black Ops 6 a shot because Call of Duty has always been super popular on PlayStation. There weren't that many options I could could actually change but there was a motion blur setting and as soon as i applied that it actually made the game look pretty high quality now i have my motion blur on and as you guys can see it actually looks like so motion blur like it's hard for me to literally see the game i don't know who's playing on this it actually looks really good though for a console i would say this is where the ps5 shines the most it doesn't really make sense for fortnite but for this i know this like motion blur is really hard to render like obviously we're not having an exact fps number on it oh almost triple kill it's mainly just for like the improvement in graphics it's not so much for an actual fps number so basically the ps5 pro is only good for games like this or like really intensive games sit wait what oh no i'm i need to sit bro what the yo he's one hp and i'm dead okay wait let me try and lower the settings actually i turned off weapon and world motion blur and let's see how it looks oh yeah much better like i can actually see but it just goes to show like it, how it actually has good quality on the ps5 pro again i can't really compare it exactly to the ps5 maybe the ps5 is exactly like that but i mean dude i'm trying to find it any kind of pro for the ps5 pro i'm not gonna lie bro yeah okay look at that smoke like animation though i didn't even know console could get that good i've literally had the ps5 running for like almost an hour and i can't hear it it's it's actually not hot to the touch in the back where the exhaust fans are it, it does feel a little bit warm so it actually does have better cooling because the normal ps5 just has one big vent here so yeah again i don't know about that on the ps5 slim i'd have to check maybe the ps5 slim has that but this one has bigger vents so this one just has more room for cooling which is pretty a pretty big advantage if you want to hold consistent performance Come on, peek it, bro. Wait, what? Where? Oh, behind me? What? what? He's right there? Dude, I actually, I, I'm a bot at this, bro. I can't tell. Honestly, my overall review, me, Vermax, as an average consumer, if I didn't do tech videos, I would not buy this. I would have bought the normal PS5, then call it a day. You know what Vermax would have done? He would have bought a, another gaming PC. Even though I have like 30, I would have still bought another gaming PC. For $700, you could buy a gaming PC with like a 3050 or something, or even a 3060. It would literally have better specs. Like it would get like 160 FPS instead of like 120 that this one gets. Make sure to sub if you're not already. Less than one out of five of you guys are. But more importantly, remember Jesus loves you. That's about it. God bless.